Well, when we look at you know, the original discourses of you know, the Buddha, we find references to you know, various experiences along you know, the path as mentioned you know, by the Buddha. And you know, there are you know, these references come in the form of Dhammapada verses, these come in you know, the form of you know, statements, and so on. Now, the compiler of the Sudimanga, namely Badanta or Acharya Buddha Nagosa, the commentator of the fifth century after Christ, he took all of those Satna references and put them together, compiled Satna those and Satna then along the using the structure as Satna outlined in the Rata Vinita Sutta, then presented uh, various experiences in a very systematic uh, way. And so we find in the Visuddhimagga itself, in English this work is known as the Path of Fatna Purification, a very clear cut in a description of the different experiences that a retreatant is likely you know, to you know, go through when he or she engages in mindfulness meditation. Now, in the Visuddhi Manga, you know, these experiences are described, at least if we look at you know, the English translation, present English you know, translation, you know, then sometimes uh, the expressions are a bit you know, outdated, but uh, you know, the essence is you know, there. And so, and so that you know, description of how the practice unfolds, and this has been referred to as a progress of insight or a gradual path of Fatna training. That Fatna has been there for hundreds of Fatna years and it's not limited to only you know, the Mahasi tradition. However, the Navendra Mahasi side of Fatna Burma you know, did make or did refer you know, to this you know, to these insight knowledges as outlined in Visuddhi Magga. And having himself translated the Visuddhi Magga from Pali into the Burmese language. So he was very well familiar with this description of the various insights and knowledges. And so the Venerable Mahasi side of uh, Burma, as well as you know, many of his uh, students, over decades have you know, then accompanied retreatants in you know, their mindfulness practice. And certainly with this, they've seen um, a certain structure, how the practice unfolds. And you know, when putting you know, some of the major experiences together, then you know, you know, those experiences very much uh, you know, coincide uh, with what is uh, you know, stated you know, in uh, you know, the Visuddhimagga already a you know, long time ago. And this structure is the same for every yogi? More or less. Mm, the, the essentials of uh, you know, the various insight knowledges are you know, the same, acro pretty much across the board. Mm, what one sees are at times certain, certain variations, you know, some retreatants experience certain, certain experiences or they experience certain, certain uh, insight knowledges in a you know, very clear cut, sometimes even you know, very intense form and others you know, in a more you know, milder, you know, subdued you know, way. And certainly for some, let's say pains are more you know, predominant. It depends a bit on a person's certain personality and other you know, other factors. But you know, the um, essence certainly tends to be the same. 